Have you been having strange dreams lately? Well, you wouldn't be alone. In April of 2020, weird signs began showing up all over Utah asking individuals to share their strange dreams. No one knows who's posted these signs or who's on the other end of the listed phone number. So why don't we put on our smiles, tuck ourselves into bed, and call the number for the Happy Valley Dream Survey. Welcome to Red Web. So let's dive in all about the dream surveys. We're going back to April 30th, 2015, the Willamette Valley Dream Survey in Portland, Oregon. So these signs started to be posted all over the town, and they've been posted ever since all the way up until as recent as last year. On the sign, it gives a phone number that is still active, and you can call that phone number, but I would like to read the sign for you. They just seem like normal printer sheets posted around town. It says, have you been having strange dreams? The Willamette Valley Dream Survey is investigating a recent spike in bizarre, unexplainable dreams. If you have been experiencing any unusual dream activity, you can help by reporting a summary. And then it says, please call the phone number with a description of your dream. And it lists a phone number. I'm actually going to call it right now so you can hear what the voice message sounds like. Thank you for calling the Willamette Valley Dream Survey. Please leave a detailed account of your dream after the tone. Transcripts or audio from your report may be duplicated in other media. So people kept researching this number and they also found that it was linked to F-U-T-E-L, FUTEL, which is a nonprofit organization based in Portland that promotes the use of public telephones. It's essentially free payphones around the city. The way that people found out about this is that a post was made on Reddit the same day, April 30th, 2015. Coincidentally, there was also an article published in the Oregonian that day highlighting these survey posters. That kind of concludes this little arc before we get into the Happy Valley Dream Survey five years later. We're fast forwarding five years, April 30th, 2020, Happy Valley Dream Survey. Now we're in Utah, a couple states over. The same exact message on the poster, save for a different name, obviously, and also the addition of an email address. So you can now call a new number and you can also email if you prefer. But many people have reported that after calling, as soon as they hung up, after giving their story of their dream, they were immediately texted that said something along the lines of thank you for your dream and thank you for submitting the dream to Happy Valley Dream Survey. A few people have actually gotten calls back. What? You could see in their call logs, they posted them online to show proof. But most of those posts and most of those screenshots, a lot of the evidence has since been deleted. And two Reddit users in particular, one Reddit and Aliens Did 9LL, a little bit of an inappropriate name, but that's his username. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they were the most active in investigating, but suddenly, almost as if overnight, both of them disappeared. No! They delete all of their posts, all no. of their images, all of their Dude. video calls and video proof. All of them disappeared, and their Reddit accounts were also deleted. Many people had different responses when it came to text. One person in particular, a Reddit user named Systems11, received a text message saying that they were not in the appropriate region in which to join the survey, which is interesting. And then other people got responses back. Typically, what was responded to those individuals was, I'm sorry, my responses are limited. You must ask the right questions. No. Two individuals finally did get a response. However, they did not ask the same question. One individual asked a slurry of questions all in a row, just trying to say which of these is the right question. And another individual literally just asked, well, what is the right question? Both of these individuals got a text response back at some point after that, saying that is the right question. And then <sighs> it followed up with nine, go away, five, jeet. And people actually had found this out prior that this nine, go away portion of this phrase was translated into septonym, which is Haitian Creole for September. Well, well don't tell me well. <laughs> people started to align two different things. And so that's where we enter... September 5 Survivor, which is a Reddit user of that name. So they made posts and comments across all these different subreddits, all claiming to be afraid of the day September 5th, 2020. Their claims said things like, bad things would happen on that day, said that people need to stay safe and stay inside on that day, that the day would last a full 24 hours and not the normal 23 hours and 56 minutes. They claimed that a secret organization is behind everything. They referenced, quote, the sixth realm or AKA the dream realm. 
saying that this organization, or they called it the organization, has access to it, or that they have control over this realm, and that on September 5th, the Earth will move closer to the sun, and electrical systems will begin to shut down. So obviously we have somebody who has a very bizarre pattern of commenting, imagery, and the like. And they're talking about September 5th, and, and, and a lot of strange dream talk too, often featuring, quote, the man in blue flames, or the boy in orange, or the old man in purple, or a long green hallway. These are the, the common factors that this individual has talked about, and people on the 5 September 2020 subreddit have actually been discussing this, trying to expand. They, they've been saying they've had similar dreams with similar imagery in those dreams and they're trying to connect meaning they're, they're sharing these stories with other individuals so a lot of people have actually found solace but that leaves us with a couple questions like are these two connected because both are heavily involving dreams the one text back from happy valley dream survey seemed to indicate september 5th was important but other than all that there's no real evidence connecting everything so that is the story of the Happy Valley Dream Survey. If you want those wild theories and much more detail, including detail about how we were contacted, listen to our episode on Red Web wherever you listen to podcasts.